every now and then you may get a requirement to build um, screening tools that could actually have questionnaires inside a user may need to answer them and at the end they may get a result so one of such tool could be for the covid 19 so uh, we let's see how it can work so over here we have a bit of details uh, this could be the front page where you have us uh, you have where you have the details regarding the covid 19 what is COVID-19, then what are the symptoms for it, and then um, how can you prevent that, etc. Apart from that, there is a screening tool included in this um, web app. So you will need to just answer that, those some questions and, in or, and at the end, you may get the result that whether um, there exists a probability that you may have a coronavirus or not. So as developers, this is our requirement and we need to build that. Um, there are there will be phases for it, and uh, the first phase is to build out the screens um, to to make it easy. I have the designs ready, and uh, it has four screens. The first screen is obviously your front page, um, then your questionnaire, then your information screen, and then your result screens. It has a um, few assets included onto it. Like for example, we require over here a logo, which is. Uh, which is used over here at the top header. Then you have, a, you can say, illustration for the person using the mobile. Then you have the coronavirus. Uh, you can say a symbol. Then you are using um, over here some sort of a symbol to represent the fever, like that. Um, the other samples, uh, these two will also be provided, which you can download. And the way you can do this is via clicking over here then there is an export sign, click that and export logo. Similar to it, you will click this icon and click the export. Um, and then finally, you can even uh, actually increase the size if you want to via yeah, yeah, clicking them. So once you have done that, you can actually include them into your HTML. Now, how to build these designs? Uh, the requirement is to use the bootstrap in order to build the designs. You can actually get the colors of, uh, in case, let's suppose you want to know what's the button color or what's the background color. You can click this and over here, pick the picker and click that. Once you do that, you can actually get the hex code for the background or even the buttons. You can do the same, same way. So for example, let's turn this into a little gray. Okay. All good. So, uh, the next step will be like how you can actually, uh, have all four of them at one place and later on we will combine them by using the JavaScript. So, okay, um, I'll introduce you to a site called as Replit. It's uh, over here, you can create your REPLs. Basically, um, you'll go over here, you can create new REPL and um, if you will scroll down, you will see over here HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Give your um, app a name so for example i will i can call this a screener app and then i'll create the app and once i have done that i can actually create uh, very similar to visual studio you can create all the folders and the files that you need so initially it comes with your index.html script.js and style uh, sheet over here obviously just like visual studio you can copy and paste let's suppose if you're using bootstrap um, uh, from a CDN, you can do that. Even you can actually copy and paste the Google fonts. Even um, you can even add the up, or I mean to say, you can even um, pre upload the files. So, for example, uh, these will be your additional files. You can upload them and you can attach them as well. Um, for the submission uh, of this challenge, these four screens. I would say create them like index one, index two, index three, index four, so I, you can visually view them. And so as I can review your um, output as well. And uh, that's, that's the way we will be doing this. And later on, uh, once you are done with JavaScript and ES6, we will combine these and create an app like this together. Uh, we'll wish you all the best and I look forward for your um, output using the bootstrap. So remember that you need to use the bootstrap, not, uh, uh, not the normal, uh, responsive media queries. I want you to use, especially use actually bootstrap over here. Thank you.